Hello and welcome to another Python tutorial. My name is Tom with LearnPythonTutorial.com and in today's tutorial we're going to talk about the R just string method, the right justified string method. And the right just justified string method it, uh, pushes our string to the right, our string object, um, justifying it to the right. Uh, I'm sure if you ever used a word processing uh, software or a blog, you've seen the right justified content before. So the string method gives us the ability to push our content to the right of the string object. Given that we give enough um, index positions, I should say uh, enough index positions that are l larger than our actual string length. So let's take a look at this uh, um, our justified string method. So we'll create a string and we'll say this is a string. All right, and then we're going to do dot since it's a string method. R just, and then we're going to give it um, a position. How many do we want? I'm going to say 40. All right, so it's 40 index positions long. That includes our string um, object here, and then whatever this is, we add on to that. So if I hit return, you can see that it added whatever amount of spaces it needed to make this string up the new string object 40 index positions long and pushes our string object to the right now the, this argument here is required we can also provide another argument we'll do the same string this is a string and we're going to do r just I'm going to do 40 again the next one has to be in a string format our second argument this one's optional um, so we're going to do uh, plus and then close out our string and close out our string method with the parentheses and hit return. And now you can see that instead of spaces up here, the spaces are default by the way. Um, so if we don't provide a um, character fill, which is it's referred to by Python, is if we don't provide a character fill, which is this, then it could, defaults to spaces. Since we provided a character fill with uh, the plus symbol, we now get pluses on the left side of our string object itself. So that is basically R just, um, but it you know it pushes it to the right. But what happens if we create a string? This is a string. Oh, actually, I want to do it this way. We're going to do a is equal to this is a string and what I want to do here is see how long this actual string is so I'll call length and a hit return all right we got 16 index positions in this string object here all right so if I go a r just and I say uh, four all right um, what's gonna happen here well it's not gonna you know say, all right, give me four to the right, and then add our string object. No, that's not how it works. What it's gonna do is just spit back our string object just like that, all right? So, um, even if we add it, R just four, and then we put a uh, character fill in there of an asterisk, hit return, still gonna do it. It doesn't add any content in there. So if R, um, Position positioning argument here is uh, equal to or less than our string object's length. Then it's just going to spit back the string object itself with no changes. Um, if it's larger, then it will push the string object itself to the right and fill in the content with either whatever we provide here or the default value of space. So one more look at this: a dot r just and we'll do 50 and we'll fill it in with exclamation points and hit return but before I do that let's explain this one more time we're getting our string object that we created up here all right via the a variable now we're calling our just string method on that we're saying fill the new string object that we're going to create with 50 index bases and the R just is saying, all right, push our current string object of this all the way to the right, and we're going to fill to the left, and we're going to fill our um, 
new index positions with the exclamation point. So we hit return. You can see that's exactly what happens there. We fill in the new string object to the left with exclamation points and our previous string object was copied into our new string object and that's pushed all the way to the right. Now if you have any questions about the R just string method in Python, please leave, leave a comment on YouTube or on our website at learnpythontutorial.com. Don't forget to like the video and don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you in the next one.